an anticholinergic overdose, an anticholinergic toxidrome is another one of the classic five toxidromes that you might see in emergency medicine. And this illustration helps to point out some of the key features and more specifically the various sources. So sources of anticholinergic medications include some antispasmodics for control of diarrhea as well as some of the antispasmodics for bladder spasm and incontinence. Antihistamine medications including diphenhydramine or Benadryl. Jimson weed which some adolescents consume as a drug of abuse in pursuit of the anticholinergic toxidrome. Scopolamine patches, medications that used to treat vertigo, such as meclizine, which are also anticholinergic as well as antihistamine type drugs. And remember with this particular toxidrome, the mad as a hatter mnemonic and that's dry as a bone red as a beet blind as a bat hot as a hair from hyperthermia and mad as a hatter Treatment of the anticholinergic toxidrome can include, in addition to supportive measures, the antidote physostigmine, which is a pro-cholinergic drug, which can alleviate many of the peripheral signs and symptoms of the intoxication, such as the tachycardia, but as well, since it crosses the blood-brain barrier, the patient's mental status can return back to normal. And again, when looking at a patient that you suspect to be under the influence of an anticholinergic drug, remember the mad as a hatter memory aid. Looking at the pupils, they'll be quite dilated, so blind as a bat. Their mucous membranes will be quite dry around the area of the mouth. Their skin will be hot and flushed, so they'll have skin that's red as a beet. They'll have hyperthermia, so they'll be hot as a hair. And here we've drawn the character in a desert. They'll be dry as a bone. They'll have urinary retention, listening to the heart. They'll have tachycardia. They can have some hypertension. Listening for bowel sounds. Bowel sounds will be absent and they'll have this generalized confusion, mad as a hatter. They might be responding to internal stimuli and they'll have some shaking tremor and you might see them grasping at invisible objects.